नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ टुडे दैट इज फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो ए बी रियलाइज्ड हैवी रेनफॉल देन यू विल सी द अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ए साइक्लोन सर्कुलेशन ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट वे ऑफ बंगाल एंड ए ट्रफ फ्रॉम दिस साइक्लोन सर्कुलेशन टू कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल हैज़ बीन रियलाइज ओवर ईस्ट एंड पेनसुलर इंडिया and uh, orange patches shows that very heavy rainfall realized over gangetic west bengal odisha telangana and also over kerala and andaman nicobar islands in andaman nicobar islands in long island of the order of 20 cm rainfall realized in gangetic west bengal it is 14 in kerala is 15 highest rainfall in telangana telangana 15 chatisgarh also 10 cm rainfall realized and yellow patches shows uh, this heavy rainfall over uh, bihar झारखंड छत्तीसगढ़ विदर्भा इंटीरियर महाराष्ट्र नॉर्थ इंटीरियर कर्नाटका एंड ऑल्सो ओवर कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश रायल सीमा एंड तमिलनाडु रीजन्स सो दीज आर द सम ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट्स एंड मॉडरेट एंड ऑल ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड ओवर नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोरम त्रिपुरा त्रिपुरा स्पेशली इन त्रिपुरा रीजन ना अकॉर्डिंगली अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ डिफरेंट्स एंड ऑफ्टिक सिस्टम बट वी विल डिस्कस लेटर Uh, we have mentioned here two highlights first is that active monsoon conditions very likely to continue over peninsular india and also over odisha and chatisgarh during next 5 days and second point is that increase in rainfall activity is likely with isolated heavy rainfall over madhya pradesh during 5th to 8th of september and gujarat on 7th and 8th of september so these with these two highlights we will proceed further so these are the synoptic system so the yesterday cyclone circulation over north east of bengal now seen over north west of bengal and neighborhood under the influence of this cyclone circulation uh, a low pressure area likely to form over north west of bengal and adjoining areas of west central of bengal during next 24 hours and two trough runs from one uh, runs from this cyclone circulation to eastern parts of bihar across gangetic west bengal and jharkhand and another trough runs from this cyclone circulation over north west of bengal to this telangana across uh, northern parts of coastal and pradesh and today monsoon trough is western end runs along the foothills of the himalayas however eastern end runs south of its normal position it runs from uh, gorakhpur uh, and then patna and uh, to disa and this digha and then goes to east central view of bengal so under the influence of these synoptic systems you will see that a good cloudiness conditions is visible over view of bengal Uh, this south peninsular india and also the eastern parts of the country including bihar and gangetic west bengal a uh, recent radar of uh, this uh, kolkata also shows that uh, moderate uh, uh, rainfall activity with thunderstorm likely uh, likely to continue over kolkata city during next 2 3 hours so accordingly you will see that this thunderstorm convert activity over these regions including south peninsular india and eastern parts of the country now Uh, these are the weather warning for next five days. You will see that this eastern parts of the country and south peninsular India likely to receive good amount of rainfall uh, with active monsoon condition during next five days. However, uh, after uh, fourth day, this uh, central parts of the country, including western parts of the country, including the Gujarat region, also likely to receive uh, some heavy rainfall activity. So, if we go for day one, you will see that a uh, very heavy rainfall activity likely. ओवर बिहार उड़ीसा छत्तीसगढ़ कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना केरला एंड माए एंड अंडमान निकोबार आइलैंड्स एंड हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी लाइकली ओवर गंगेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल झारखंड विदर्भा इंटीरियर महाराष्ट्र रायल सीमा एंड तमिलनाडु रीजन्स टूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड मोर ऑल सेम एक्टिविटी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ऑन डे टू एंड देन फ्रॉम डे थ्री दिस एक्टिविटी लाइकली टू रिड्यूस फ्रॉम ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री हाउ एवर वेरी एवी रेन फॉर लाइकली ओवर विदर्भा रीजन ऑन डे थ्री एंड ऑन डे फोर फर्दर डिग्रीज हाउ एवर हैवी रेन फॉल एक्टिविटी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री सेंट्रल पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड फ्रॉम डे फाइव यू विल सी दैट दिस एक्टिविटी विल रिड्यूस हाउ एवर ओवर मध्य प्रदेश एंड विदर्भा रीजन एंड ऑल्सो वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग महाराष्ट्र एंड गुजरात रीजन लाइक लू टू रिसीव हैवी रेन फॉल सो दैट वॉज द समरी एज मैंशन इन द सिग्निफिकेंट वेदर फीचर्स ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्कस डिस्ट्रिक्ट बाय सम ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट स्टेट्स लाइक दिस बाय दिज आर द मैप्स फॉर ओडिशा यू विल सी दैट टूडे दिस मयूरभंज केवझर देवघर Angol, Baud, Kandamal, Sambalpur likely to receive very heavy rainfall, and uh, heavy rainfall over uh, 
uh, most parts of the most on remaining districts including Balangir, Barga, Jharsuda, Sundargarh and also coastal districts including Balasore, Bhadra, Kendrapada, Katak and uh, this uh, Korda, Nagar and Ganjam and also in southern parts of the state including Korapot and Malkangiri likely to receive heavy rainfall and day two the there is likely of very heavy rainfall over south interior district including Korapot, Malkangiri and Navarangpur and interior district including uh, Mayurubhan, Kengjhar, Sundargarh, Jharsura, Sambalpur, Bargarh, Sonpur, Bhat, Bolangir, Kandamal, Kalahandi, Raikada and Noapada heavy rainfall in day two and day three heavy rainfall likely are to receive over Kingjar and uh, Mayurvanj and isolated pockets over south uh, uh, south interior districts and also adjoining south coastal districts that is Ganjam, Gajwati, Raigada, Koraput, Malangangiri, Navarangpur, Kala, Anti, Nuhapad and Bolangir. If you see the map for Odisha day 4 you will see that interior especially interior districts adjoining to Jharkhand and uh, uh, this Chhattisgarh region likely to receive heavy rainfall including Kingjargar, Sundargarh, Jharkhand, Sambalpur, Bargarh, Sunpur, Balangir, Nuhapad and Navarangpur. So these are the weather warning for Odisha. If you see the weather warning for Bihar, you will see that this southern uh, southern parts of the Bihar, including uh, this uh, Gaya and adjoining districts, and in this Bhagalpur also likely to receive very heavy rainfall today. And uh, tomorrow you will see that uh, light to moderate activity likely to receive by the state of Bihar. And on day three you will see that this portion, including south and east parts of the Bihar, likely to receive light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning activity. This map is for day one, that is today, valid for Jharkhand state. You will see that uh, there are two patches of uh, likely to receive heavy rainfall, including the south and western parts of the district and extreme northeast district of the Jharkhand. So, in northeast districts, uh, this Kodha, Saib Ganj, Pukar, Dumka, Deoghar, etc., likely to receive heavy rainfall in southern and western parts of the district, Latihar, and this Palamu, and uh, Gumla, Kunti, and uh, Simdega etc. likely to receive uh, heavy rainfall. If we see the map for uh, Chhattisgarh region, you will see that this the districts adjoining to Risa including uh, Jaspur and Raigad likely to receive heavy rainfall and very heavy rainfall is expected over Bastar today and heavy rainfall also likely over uh, this Kondagao and Dartewada and Sukuma uh, region in Chhattisgarh. If we the weather warning for uh, well, for uh, tomorrow for the Chhattisgarh, you will see the southern, extreme southern districts of the Chhattisgarh including Bijapur, Dantewada, Bastar and Sukuma likely to receive very heavy rainfall and the, 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 and the districts uh, adjoining to this uh, uh, Dhamtari and Kanker etc. Naranpur, Kondagaon likely to receive heavy rainfall. If we see the map for uh, day 3 for the Chhattisgarh, only Rajnand Gaon has, has been uh, this uh, heavy rainfall activity otherwise uh, these districts shown by yellow are likely to receive light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm activity. Moral overall for the Chhattisgarh you will see that uh, the activity is uh, likely to receive during next three days as shown here. If you see the weather warning for Vidarbha for day one you will see that uh, districts like Chandrapur and Garchilori, Bhandara likely to receive heavy rainfall and adjoining district likely to receive light to moderate with thunderstorm activity including Badda, Nangpur, Bhandara and Evatmal and Gondia also likely to receive thunderstorm activity in addition to heavy rainfall. If you see the weather warning for day 2, you will see that this uh, eastern, south eastern uh, part of the Vidarbha including Chandrapur and, Chandrapur and Garh will likely to receive very heavy rainfall and adjoining districts are likely to receive heavy rainfall that is Nangpur, Bhandara, Gondia, Varda and Evatmal. Otherwise, uh, most uh, parts of the Vidarbha likely to re receive light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm activity. If we see the weather warning for day 3, uh, Vidarva likely to experience increase in rain, rainfall on day 3. So accordingly, very heavy rainfall is likely over Nagpur, Chandrapur, Varda, Vetmal, Amravati, very heavy rainfall and remaining districts including Bandara, Gondia, Garchaloli likely to receive heavy rainfall and remaining uh, rest of the districts like Akola, Basim, Bulda, uh, Buldala and uh, uh, this uh, district likely to receive light to moderate rainfall. So accordingly, these are the weather warning map for Telangana. You will see that there is a uh, good amount of rainfall likely to receive by Telangana during the next two days. Orange patches shows that uh, these districts will receive uh, very heavy rainfall. Districts with yellow color shows likely to receive light to moderate rainfall with light isolated heavy rainfall during the next two days. And from day three, this activity will concentrate only to western parts of the Telangana, where heavy rainfall 
However, we can say that during the next two days, Telangana will likely receive a light to moderate rainfall at most places with isolated heavy and very heavy rainfall as shown here by orange and yellow color. Now, these are the weather warning for Andhra Pradesh. So, from this map, you can see that during the next two days, northern parts of uh, uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall activity and from day 3 this activity will reduce however heavy rainfall will continue on uh, so we can say that only in these two days uh, map we are shown here and this is uh, for the uh, validity of the heavy rainfall we have mentioned here for day 5 map so you we can say that during next 4 or 5 days coastal and Pradesh likely to experience heavy rainfall activity and uh, especially in northern parts of the Andhra Pradesh. Now, accordingly, we can say that impacts on daily basis we are mentioning that because of uh, heavy to very rainfall activity over east and peninsular districts, as mentioned here, uh, this uh, localized flooding uh, in low, uh, low lying areas, traffic congestion, and localized flooding, mud slides, mud slides, landslides over the hilly regions, etc. And you are requested to kindly visit. Uh, uh, concerned state advisories and central government advisories if any any traffic advisory you follow this and uh, this is all about uh, today's you can stay connected with us uh, through our website mossum.imd.gov.in and through our social media platforms like facebook twitter and instagram so this is today all about thank you we will meet again tomorrow with updated information till then namaskar jai hind jai bharat